Hello everyone, today we're going to be making a simple terrarium. Now for this you're going to need a glass bowl, a simple one, nothing too fancy, two different sized styrofoam circles, some fake moss and greenery, a few fake plastic plants, you can find them at Michael's or AC Moore, an exacto knife, some tacky glue, and this is optional, and some acrylic paint and burnt umber and raw umber. So what I started doing here was painting the styrofoam circle with a mixture of the raw umber and the burnt umber, and we're going to use this as a base inside of the glass bowl so that we won't have to use as many materials. Um, and as you can see here, we're just continuing the painting process, but it's kind of hard because styrofoam has so many holes in it that the paint seeps into. And I think it was at this point that I was like, yo, it's gonna take dumb long B. So instead I decided to just squeeze the paint onto the styrofoam itself. And that definitely made it easier to spread the paint more efficiently. So this is the finished product of our painted styrofoam circle and we're just gonna pour some of that tacky glue right onto it. Nice, decent amount, a lot, just, just, just squeeze it on there, right? And so we're just gonna drop that into the glass bowl. Make sure that it sticks. Now I also took some glue and put it around the sides just for what we're going to be doing later and also to seal it in a little bit better inside of that bowl. Now we're going to be using our fake moss and our greenery. You can find this in any craft section in Michaels, usually for like dioramas. And we're going to put the moss in the bowl and on top of that base that we created. The whole reason why we painted it brown is so that it gives the illusion of dirt from the outside. We're gonna pour some more glue in there. You're gonna see that we're gonna be using a lot of glue just to make sure that everything is, is settled in there properly. Um, I actually decided that using tweezers would be more effective to push down the sides without getting um, my hands too messy and for splitting up the moss so that it was a little bit more, I don't, I don't even know the word that I'm looking for, but you know what I'm talking about. So I pour some more glue on top and I just kept breaking apart the moss and pushing it down in there with my tweezers. Now, um, this is the, the most fun part. I decided to put down these napkins just so that there was a little bit more cushion for when I decided to start cutting the actual plants. Um, you should be very careful at this part because if you're clumsy like me, using an X-Acto knife is not the best thing to do. But um, very simple, just cut the tops of the bottoms, the tops, you're gonna cut the plant away from the plant. And so that's what I'm doing here, just cutting off the top and separating the plants. I found that a lot of the plants were easy to just kind of pop off the tops of them. But later on, I did have to cut the stems so that they were a little flatter. So this is how the plants look after you cut them and get them nice.
nice and flat to the way that you want them. At this point, I decided to switch over to super glue. I just want to say right now that my fingers are not dirty. It's the paint. Now that we have that disclaimer down, I decided to switch over to super glue to make sure that the plants were really secure inside of the terrarium because I didn't want them to be moving around too much. So at this point, I'm just doing uh, different placements of the flowers and uh, other plants, succulents, if you will. Um, there was no real method to the madness, just whatever I thought looked best. As you can see, I, I just freely pour the super glue and then use my tweezers to stick it down. Oh, and this was the optional piece. I found this little chalkboard at Michael's. It was on sale. Um, it says enjoy the little things and I just thought that that would be a cute little addition to the terrarium, something unique. So um, I looked for the placement that I wanted and I just popped it in. And now we're going to add more glue, um, just freely pouring it in for the next part, which is adding that uh, fake greenery that you saw earlier. Um, I wanted to make this video for a while, but usually my nails are looking mad ratchet and I was like, you can't be exposing yourself on the internet like that. So I waited and waited and then finally I did my nails. So here we go. And now I'm just breaking apart the greenery so that they're not these giant like chunks in there. Um, moving it around with the tweezers to find the perfect placement. Uh, just separating some of the succulents. Uh, doing some final touches. And then that's it. And that is your terrarium. I like to put mine on my bedside table because I think it looks really cute there. Um, but you can put it anywhere and it'll still look nice. So thanks for watching.